Hey, it's Adam from Test It. I am in my cave, and this is a little bit of a show and tell of a piece that's been in my collection forever. Uh, and it's a really important piece for me. Uh, we posted a picture recently on social media of this guy. Um, my folks here keep calling him the Leatherman, but that's a knife. He is a leather man, however. His face is made out of an old suede. Uh, He's wearing these ratty clothes, and he has been sitting in various shops of mine for about 20 plus years. And he is made by, I think, my all-time favorite sculptor in the world, um, named Gene Steig. Gene Steig is still alive, living in Boston, Massachusetts, still a family friend. Um, she was married for many years to William Steig, children's book author of Sylvester and the Magic Pebble, Abel's Island, and most famously, the book that became Shrek. Um, Bill Steig, born, I think, in 1907, was one of the first New Yorker cartoonists, seriously, in the 20s. Uh, and he was also, in the 50s and 60s, one of my father's and later one of my parents' closest friends. And Bill's wife, Jean, I mean, Bill was an amazing artist, and Jean is also an amazing artist, and their house was this magical place in Connecticut that we visited when I was a kid. And Jean, among many other found object art pieces and beautiful figures and just incredible sculptures using all sorts of small bits of detritus found on the street and things like that, she also made a whole bunch of figures. And the house was packed with them. In fact, as a kid running through their house in Connecticut, every there was this there was this old old couple, uh, perfectly sewn in white kit leather that sat in the foyer of their house. And I distinctly remember like playing hide and seek with my family, like running through the house, and then seeing the old couple <gasps> feeling like it was a real person <laughs> for a second. Uh, and about twenty years ago, I got this piece. The thing is, is that Jean isn't just my favorite sculptor, uh, but also she's one of the earliest people to encourage my artistic sensibilities and to take them seriously. And I very much remember being 12, 13, 14 with the little constructions I would make in my room. And when they visited Jean coming up and, and seeing the things that I did and talking about the manufacturing methods and being excited for me about the explorations I was doing. Uh, I can't stress this enough. Even tiny bits of encouragement matter so much to people. Even people that you love, that you know you're encouraging all the time. When you actually reach out and say, I think that this thing that you're making is really cool, it makes such a difference. So much so that Jean still sits in my head, encouraging me with her laughter and her enthusiasm and her dark and delightful sense of humor. Um, this guy, is actually wearing, I believe, some of Bill's old clothes, including uh, an old pair of paisley boxer shorts that did belong to Bill Steig. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, I, I suppose I could be more archival about him, but he's still got both of his cardboard shoes. Uh, and I think that the weathering that he endures in this cave is just more, more character for him. He's sort of like a mascot. Thanks. <laughs>